Hey, it's Edge here. Today we are taking a look at technical analysis for Cardano with ticker ADA. I'll cover wave analysis with LFW theory and provide target levels for presented counts and invalidation levels at which those counts would no longer be considered valid. So let's get going. On higher time frame, currently on daily, using logarithmic scale. Um, we have a couple of different ones to show you. On higher time frame, we got a possible one, two here for the uh, cycle levels or cycle degree then have a possible wave one ended here other option is that we have a one two three currently making the fourth of primary uh, before the fifth fourth of our intermediate sorry uh, before the fifth of intermediate and completing the fifth or oh, first of primary now we have a couple of different counts for this section as well so it gets let's get through them first with the primary one done our scenario we have these WXY counts we have targets um, kind of low here of course as this is where one we would be expecting around golden pocket 0.5 at least 32 that we have conquered or achieved already um, should not be that bad of a target either but again if you would like to be long on ADA this is at least the minimum you would be looking for when for wave twos on on uh, cryptos, the WXY here on orange um, is the intermediate count. These are the target levels: uh, 1.618 here uh, at around 34 cents is going to be the invalidation level for this WXY count, as Y wave would be 1.618 off the W wave, making it more and more unlikely and basically invalid, as there are other options available as well. So here we go, looking at the last leg here. So the W or the WXY orange count last leg of Y is again three waves. So we're looking for three waves here. Um, currently, again, as W or the X wave dot did not get to the 90% retracement of W wave, uh, we are expecting this whole structure to be a WXY, meaning on the last leg, we are looking for three waves. Currently, I've labeled it as such, let's go into a bit smaller time frame to see it. Um, X wave here um, and bringing down five waves into A, B, and now looking for the five waves down to C. Now this has been invalidated as wave four did come into the wave one territory. So there are other possibilities with the, with the WXY count, so I'll go and present them now. And this is it. This is where we have a diagonal one, two, three, four, five into A, then B, and now looking for five waves down to C. Uh, target levels for the wave four of this one, two, three, four are already met. The wave four is already 0.5 or 50% retraced off the wave three, which makes it kind of kind of long already. But again as we are consolidating here we could still put in some kind of structure like this um, and hopefully not get the invalidation level again the third wave's purpose is to get price long enough from the from the end of wave one for the wave four to have enough space to retrace if the wave four is ending here we have target areas for the last wave here at around starting from the 44 cent area at that point we would have a truncated end which is definitely something that i would not like invalidation level um, is again at that 34 cent area as this is the same wxy count we do have some confluence around this area um, with the one-to-one -one extension of this um, of this uh, wave one uh, for the wave 5 and the 1.618 of this ABC, larger ABC move in yellow uh, making our target box around these areas here this would again be around 37 cents this would make us a lower low here on the last count and we would be looking for divergence to confirm that uh, let's take a look at some levels to see if there are actually 
something here. Nope, there's nothing here. Uh, nothing else except, let's take a look at volume as well. There is some, some kind of support there. Again, this is where we had this last peak here uh, when we were coming down from this cycle, cycle two wave. Um, so definitely some kind of support down here and that matches up with this box. So good area to, to bounce off of. Let's go back to four hours. Move the volume here. And that's basically the WXY counts. And let's save this guy here. And then we have the ABC. Uh, ABC counts are again paired with this one, assuming that we had the wave three here, creating a A, B and C wave. Um, higher time frame targets. Wave four targets are already met. We have gone beyond the 0.5 extension of this one, of this, um, sorry, not extension, a retracement of the third wave. There we go. Um, the invalidation for this, when the wave four would get to the wave one area, would be around here, 15 and a half cents. Uh, wave four area, this one is just uh, the area we had for the previous wave structures, third and fourth wave around here, which is a typical place for wave four to end to. This makes it more possible that this whole structure is a one, two, but again, this is still valid to me. Now the 2.618 for the ABC count here on yellow is, a, is basically a maximum target for the wave C. Um, of course, we could be looking lower targets, but this is usually the maximum where crypto ABC extensions go to. Mm, we have a couple of different scenarios here. So let's take a look. Um, as this is an expanded flat, this ABC here, we're looking for five waves. One, two, three, four, and five. We have already created a fourth here. So we're looking just for the last wave. Uh, again, the subway structure is the, sim is the same here as I presented earlier, looking for the wave four currently. For overall targets for this minute count on green, we have these structures here and the 2.618 again um, hits pretty close to this target we had for the WXY count again. Again, for if we are placing this wave four here, we do not have invalidation below. So we are looking for a bit lower targets um, for this count. Let's close this one here, get a new box here. And basically this 0 0.618 is an extension in which wave three is not extended. So we are, uh, we are targeting the start of the wave structure to end of wave three and bring that down to the end of four. Depending on how high um, the wave four goes to, we have these target areas here. Um, assuming that it goes still a bit higher, uh, creating some kind of uh, zigzag pattern up here, um, we have these areas to look out for. Mm, I'm going to extend this a bit. Again, 2.618 here is definitely kind of extended for the C wave already. So I wouldn't be looking for lower targets. So these targets are again from around 36 cents to 29 cents. Mm, let's put this guys here. We should have actually put this into this impulse folder. Now we have this structure here again as well. Uh, saying that this would be one, two, three, four, and five. This would be a diagonal. Again, wave four is not in the area of wave one. There's uh, a debate on Eli who I've seen, I guess, uh, does it need to be um, to create a diagonal? To me, this looks pretty bad and it does not offer anything else to us. We are having the minimum extension here at around 39 cents We would, where we would need to create another low here. Uh, for this to be even a possibility. Um, that is why, because wave three is currently uh, ending here, 
around 77 cents and so that if this structure is an expanding diagonal would need to be larger for the fifth way than the third way was but again uh, this is not providing us any any extra uh, things to look out for so I'm, I'm just going to remove this count completely but we have a couple of different target areas we had we had this one here around 36 cents to 29 cents and then we had uh, another one just above that around 38 cents well basically to the 36 cents area so those are my targets for ADA currently let me know if you have another account that would explain things a bit differently I thank you for watching and uh, hopefully see you on the next one as well bye bye